All right, we're back for our uh, final uh, phase here with uh, Congressman Jimmy Panetta with a couple more questions. And Congressman, one of the questions I like to ask our elected officials is what's been the biggest challenge you've faced during this work from home period? Yeah, I hate Zoom. I'll be the first to admit it. I hate Zoom. Uh, it, it is. It's, it's, it's frustrating having to use this technology. It's a good thing. And we are lucky to have it, like I said. But I can't stand it. And it drains you. It really does. It kind of sucks it out of you. I'm more the type that I get more energy the more active I am. And the fact that I'm being so sedentary is just by the end of the day, it's just, oh, I'm exhausted. Um, but, you know, so it's just it's getting used to these types of getting your body used to um, this type of sedentary nature of this work. In Washington, D.C., and when I'm here in the district, I'm out and about. I'm moving and I'm constantly going, which I like. That's what gives me energy. But what I also miss and what really stinks about this is the interaction with people. Um, to be in my job, you got to have the personality where you can't be a misanthrope. You actually got to be, you actually got to like people. You got to be interested in people. You got to be curious about people. And so that's part of the reason why I love this job is that I get to get out and about and I get to meet people and learn about them and talk to them. And I get energy from people. Having been stuck here at home can be a little difficult. And these Zoom calls, they just don't do it, man. Um, and, and, and for a number of reasons. And it's, you know, we talk about, you know, working remotely from Washington, D.C. Um, nothing beats human interaction. Nothing beats being able to uh, not only, um, in like I'm taking committees, for example, have that type of discussion with the witnesses, but then see your fellow colleagues and how they react towards the witnesses question and answers and vice versa and seeing their responses as well. So um, it's, it's been that lack of, of human physical, action, uh, physical interaction that I think is the toughest part about being home. Now at the same time, trust me, Mark, I'm making up for some lost dinners with my family uh, that I, I did, couldn't have for the past three years being in Washington, D.C. during the week when we're in Washington. And so we've been able to um, uh, be at home and, and have dinners and sit down at the dinner table and have conversations. Uh, and also my basketball games actually got better because I was a wrestler in high school. And so wrestlers are not good basketball players, and I'm not a good basketball player. But my daughter and I, about either before or after dinner, we go out and shoot hoops. My other daughter is a softball player, so she hits off the tee. And Gia, my youngest, and I play horse. We play, uh, then we do a free throw game, and then we do a around the world game. So I'm still not good, but I'm getting a little better and learning my bank shots. And so that's been one of the benefits of having to work from home, being able to have Zoom calls and actually hear my daughter practice piano in the next room. That doesn't happen in Washington, D.C., uh, but it does happen by here. So the fact that even though I'm sedentary, confined to my desk, confined to these Zoom calls, I still get the benefits of being at home with my family. And it sounds like in doing so, you are benefiting from the most important relationships that you have, and that is your family. And I always go back to, you know, because I'm the same way. I get energy from being around people. Yeah. And uh, it really shows we were designed for relationships, not isolation. Now, you had mentioned the dinners that you're having with your family. And, of course, I was always curious, too, as uh, for our, our politicians, our elected officials, what is for you, what is your wife's favorite meal that you have cooked during this time? It's so funny you asked me that. And literally, because uh, it, it just happened yesterday. <laughs> I swear to God. But yesterday was Mother's Day. And the night before, I was thinking, well, what does she like? What can I make her? Um, and I, I cooked eggs Benedict, made the hollandaise sauce, poached the eggs, uh, grilled up the bacon, and, uh, you know, put it all together. And she was, uh, I, I hit it out of the park with that one. I have to say, <laughs> I'll take it. I don't know how good it was. She said it was good. And she acted like she enjoyed it, and she ate it all up, and so did my daughters. So I'll take that one. It was Eggs Benedict's for Mother's Day uh, was a real hit. Well, let's face it. It doesn't matter what the meal is. If you've got bacon, it's a good <laughs> meal. <laughs> there you go. But we've also been doing a pretty good job. Um, I admit, I haven't been cooking as much as I should based on the fact that I am working from home, and it's not like I'm screwing around all day, so I am working from home. But we are supporting our local restaurants, especially those that are providing takeout. Uh, which has been great. Uh, we've been going out to the local restaurants here in Carmel Valley, even heading into Carmel and Monterey area, uh, and making sure that we uh, do a good job supporting them uh, with a number of takeouts. Although it's, you know, hasn't helped being sedentary, eating takeout food <laughs> hasn't helped for my uh, love handles. But unfortunately, I'm getting into the routine where every morning I'm taking a jog. So that helps quite a bit. Well, I think the goal has gone from 
you know, I think people initially thought, hey, I can lose some weight during this time. I think that's changed from losing weight to minimizing how much you gain. Exactly. <laughs> so tell me, Congressman, what's the first thing you plan to do when our shelter in place order is lifted? Yeah, it's funny. You really, uh, it's time like this where you really appreciate uh, the little things. I, I miss going to the gym. I, I miss, I miss going to church. Uh, you know, I'm a Catholic, so I'm kind of the guy that goes in and, and, and late and leaves early, but at least I go, and it's part of the routine, and it's, it's something I definitely miss. I miss going to Mass. I never thought I'd say that, <laughs> uh, but, but I do. I miss going to Mass. I miss going to the gym. I miss my colleagues in Congress, to be honest with you, Democrats and Republicans. I, that, like I said, that's the best part about this job is having the people interaction, not just here on the Central Coast and my constituents. But man, there are a lot of good people back in Washington, D.C. that I have a, a great working relationship and a wonderful personal relationship, Democrats and Republicans. That's one of the best things about the job. And I miss them uh, tremendously. Um, and so I look forward to uh, getting back to work, getting back to work with them uh, and moving forward as we get through this pandemic. And it's not going to be easy. Um, you know, we were supposed to, there, initially we were supposed to go back to Washington, D.C. a few weeks ago, and they didn't realize that you can't really take a myopic view as to just saying, okay, members have to come back. Well, we have staffs, and we travel there, especially us, who, you, us and Zoe and Anna who go there, you know, and Roe, you know, we're going back and forth every week for the most part. And so it's, you know, it's travel and then our staffs have to get to work and it's safe for them to get to work. And what about the Capitol Police? What about the janitors? And on and on and on. There's so many layers to that, that, you know, getting back to work isn't going to be as easy as just saying, we got to come back to work. For, for uh, me, that's fine. That's my job. I go back. That's, that's what I got to do. I'll drive back if I have to. That's all right. But um, as we're seeing, it's just not that easy. And so it's figuring that out to get back to work to where we can start, you know, continuing to do our job as best as we as as we've learned the job uh, as it should be. Uh, but but we're doing the best we can. Um, Zoe and I are in contact quite a bit, and we're we're continuing to legislate uh, remotely as best as we can. But at the same time, um, we're doing what we can to make sure that, like I said, we continue to battle this pandemic and get through this pandemic and providing the federal funds that are necessary for you and for other uh, local municipalities to have the resources necessary to actually execute uh, uh, what's, what, what's to do what's necessary to get through this thing. So I, I, we'll, we'll do it. We'll get through it. And, and I think we all look forward to it. Uh, but once again, and I think you've heard this over and over and we've heard it and some people have mocked it, but I think it's true. We're going to do it together. We are going to do it together because this pandemic has affected us all in, in one way or the other. It's affected all of us. And therefore, I do believe that we, 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 want, to, we want to do what's right to, to open up our economy. We will open up our economy. Let's just hope that we do it in a smart way that's based on uh, data and doctors and making sure that we find that balance between our public health and our economic health. Congressman, thank you for being with us today. Really appreciate you taking the time out of your schedule to join us. Any last thoughts before we go? Uh, no, I just, uh, like I said, uh, I think your tie says it all. Uh, it, it is about uh, the stars and stripes. Uh, it is about our nation. And like I said, we're in this together uh, as a country. Uh, and that's why I was, I've been proud to see that the legislation put forward in Washington, D.C. has been bipartisan. You've had Democrats, Republicans, and the president of, of this United States uh, in agreement upon what's necessary from the federal role, at least when it comes to the funding aspect of it, but more needs to be done. And like I said, I look forward to working with my colleagues on both sides of the aisle so that we can get things done uh, for the American people and our nation. Well, thank you, Congressman. It certainly does take a united effort to uh, overcome the challenges we face as a nation and to move forward. That's right. Well, thank you, thank you for joining us. I'm Mark Turner, President of the Gilroy Chamber of Commerce.